Northern Michigan is known for its abundant lakes and streams. Our larger than average inland lakes are some of the biggest in the state, with over 50 lakes measuring 100 acres or greater in area. And the bigger the lake, the more energy in the system. In other words, the winds, waves, and ice become bigger, stronger, and more powerful as lake size increases. Property owners, in an effort to protect the shoreline, construct hardened structures or seawalls. But seawalls are no match for ice and waves, and there are other drawbacks, such as cost and their negative impacts on the lake ecosystem. The best way to protect the shoreline is to leave it in its natural state, because the native trees, shrubs, and other plants naturally help to protect the land from winds, waves, and ice. If a shoreline has already been altered, then restoration offers many benefits to both the property owner and the lake ecosystem, including better shoreline and water quality protection, improved habitat for shoreline dependent species, and a more natural looking and attractive shoreline. Restoration techniques strive to recreate natural conditions with an emphasis on deep rooting native vegetation. Shoreline restoration is best achieved by applying the principles and techniques of bioengineering, also known as biotechnical erosion control, or soft engineering. Here a deteriorating seawall, an intermediate lake, is transformed by using these techniques. This cross-section illustrates the basic components of the restored shoreline, including fieldstone, gravel, coir or coconut logs, and of course, plants. And remember, shoreline projects usually require a permit from the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality and the Army Corps of Engineers as well as the local county soil erosion office, so be sure to check with them first. Okay. Now contractors have removed the old seawall and are busy installing the base filter layer of gravel. Coir is a stiff fiber made from coconut shells. These coir logs have coir on the inside and on the outside is a jute mesh to keep the coir contained. Coir logs are an important part of the project. Basically what's happening is the bottom layer is bigger and it gets smaller as it comes up. So like now I need stuff like this here. If you got okay. more medium sized stuff can go off. The selection and the installation of fieldstone is both a science and an art. I can use a bunch of skinny stuff. With the coir, fieldstone, and gravel now in place, the shoreline will be planted immediately behind the coir logs with native shrubs and other plants. Take a look at how the waves bounce off this concrete seawall. In contrast, wave energy is buffered along the restored shoreline, and that's better shoreline protection. Thanks for watching, and remember to love your lake and restore your shore, because what's good for the lake is good for you.